All right, welcome to the Industry Athletic Show. I'm here with Brittany Hallahan, and we are going to talk about diapers and dumbbells. We're going to go backwards, so I just want to jump in. The program, what is it? My mom wants to hear more about it. Hey, who is this for? And then we'll kind of get the full story. So diapers and dumbbells. Yes, um, so diaper and dumbbells every Monday and Wednesday from 11 to 12, and it is a fitness class geared towards the postpartum mom, whether that be five weeks, eight weeks, or eight months, or over a year postpartum -ly. as soon as they have their doctor's clearance that they can start moving and it's safe for them to be back into the gym. Um, we provide programming that is putting them in a position to stabilize their core, for, focus on their breathing and their pelvic floor, and get them moving in a safe manner so that they can ultimately continue on their specific fitness journey, whatever that may look like for them, um, and continue from there. Love it. So if a mom does CrossFit, mm -hmm. um, or knows a little bit about CrossFit, yes. is this CrossFit, or is it kind of taking place in a CrossFit gym? Dispel that myth a little bit. So it is not CrossFit. Um, I personally love CrossFit, but you do not have to be a previous CrossFitter to take this class. You do not have to have aspirations to CrossFit in the future um, to get benefit or enjoy this class. Um, with that being said, if you are a CrossFitter and are looking for something to bridge back into the classes, diapers and dumbbells can fit for you. So we are reaching in trying to provide a class that is for women of, of all fitness levels. So we focus more on body mechanics, you know, some endurance and cardio workouts. We do use some dumbbells and kettlebells, but we are not focusing on the big like Olympic lifts and barbell and working under like a mass load. Awesome. So we go Monday, Wednesday mm -hmm. at 11 a.m. Yes. And there is child care. There them. is. Yep. We have anywhere from like one to two uh, individuals that will sit with all the kids, keep them occupied, so that during that hour the moms can really focus on themselves and getting a workout in without having to, you know, check on the diapers or if someone's crying and fussing. Um, we have some people that are really great with the kids and enjoy spending the hour with them. Yes, yes, they need that power, that mom, that yes. person. <laughs> that hour is very important. Yes. So let's go back to the beginning. Um, your, let's just call fitness journey. Okay. Where did you start with um, getting into CrossFit? What did you do before that? Talk to us about yourself. So I was active growing up, but did not play like competitive sports or anything. I was a dancer and cheerleader. Um, throughout high school and then went to college and became slightly less fit. And then a few years after college, I got back into just fitness and working out and in a gym, working with personal trainers. And I would say probably, I don't even know how long ago now, nine years ago, I got into CrossFit. Um, basic level, just taking the classes, looking for something new that kept my attention and gave me a good workout. Um, probably five years into crossfitting, I also then got into some different nutrition work and working with different programs where I really saw by coupling my nutrition with my fitness, um, it both helped me aesthetically as well as performance uh, in the gym. And I'd like to think at one point I was fairly competitive on like a local level within crossfit. And then um, I met my boyfriend and we had a baby. Uh, a little over nine months ago, and fitness completely changed for me. Um, I was lucky and able to CrossFit and work out my entire pregnancy up until like two days before I had Mia. Um, and I did have a C-section, so I took six weeks off of doing nothing but caring for the baby, myself, you know, like walks, um, and some other just stability work at home to work on my core and the C-section incision. But I really took that time to focus on healing and then coming back to the gym slowly and surely from there. Um, once I started to get back in, and I think I was still on maternity leave, I started talking with you and identifying some different gaps in fitness and some opportunities that we can have within the gym. Um, and not just for the current members, but various women, you know, 
in the kind of the area of Baltimore and looking at developing a postpartum um, fitness class. So throughout my pregnancy, I've worked with a couple other trainers that I had been aware of in like the local area, just getting cues on how to modify my movements to make sure I was moving in a safe manner because my capacity definitely went down and I wanted to make sure that I was moving safely for the baby and not putting um, the pregnancy at risk, obviously. And then, you know, after I had Mia, I took a postpartum and pregnancy fitness class um, to learn more about diastasis, pel pelvic floor exercises, and different, you know, functions of breathing that all come into play for a postpartum woman's body. Okay, I'm going to rewind a little bit okay. about the synopsis. Um, you were competitive, you were a good athlete, it's hard to talk Thank about you. yourself. <laughs> you definitely were um, competitive and, and awesome, a badass in the gym. So I want to go right to there because mm -hmm. I know for my wife um, it was hard and I, I know I can't speak on a person as I look mm -hmm. at you two, and I don't really care if someone is thinking, oh, well, you know, she was clean and jerking and doing all this crazy stuff. No matter where you are fitness wise, mm -hmm. it will affect you. So, how did the pregnancy piece affect you? And let's just focus maybe on, okay, you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you safely work out? It's different for everybody. Was that a hard point for you to be at? Talk us through that. Uh, for me personally, it, it was very hard. I went from knowing what my body could do to walking up a flight of stairs and being incredibly out of breath. Um, so I really had to focus on my mindset in the gym and continuously tell myself this is a temporary period um, and my purpose of working out is different now than it was before. Um, I had I googled a bunch. I did some like research to make sure I was like moving safely, um, and I, I listened to my body. But I also tried to make sure I took precaution above and beyond just listening to my body. Because sometimes being in more of like the um, athlete mindset, we kind of push some of the thoughts back and kind of push through the workout. But when you're pregnant, you know your your breath and your capacity is just different. So mindset-wise, was it self-talk with you? Did you try to rally around friends? Mm -hmm. Were you doing a lot of reading? I, feel like I did reading. I talked to other um, moms who had things. I, you know, I reached out to Allie quite a bit. You know, there's some other moms just in the local area that were big into fitness, and they've had, you know, children in the past. So trying to gauge how they approached it, but also knowing that every pregnancy is different and every week is different. You know, one week I was like, I couldn't do, you know, earlier on, um, I could do box jumps one week, the next week I was like, I, I couldn't do them. And, and that's okay, so I like scaled and went to box step ups, but also just, I focused more on longer um, steady workouts of trying to keep my heart rate more under control versus spiking my heart rate and then not being able to recover. Cool, cool. Uh, it just popped into my head. Mm -hmm. Obviously, neither of us medically trained. So, right. just giving overall advice, um, pretty sharing stories. So, you're in that um, that moment. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little bit harder to work out. And I feel like in the community, if I could speak to um, CrossFit in general, and not just with us, but it's such a powerful piece of the gym. That's mm -hmm. not really a thing. You know, we market community and things, but you would never think, oh, I'm going to get pregnant, and then there's going to be like. 12 women here that can really embrace and get behind me and help yeah. me and give me advice. And um, I feel, I, I really want people to know that that's something they can utilize all the time. First mm -hmm. pregnancy, second pregnancy, and maybe not even the pregnancy piece, but we're all going through these different things. Yes. Right? Um, so, um, C-section, mm -hmm. have the baby, um, the hard part begins now, or was it harder when you were pregnant, or how is like the comeback after that? I think, they were, they were both difficult in different ways. I think I had, I developed a new appreciation for fitness and working out while I was pregnant. Um, and then when I came back, um, I might be one of the crazy ones, but I've never really minded burpees. Like I can find my pace and you just kind of go. They're, they're never fun, but I could manage them. Um, 
the few weeks after coming back, the first time I tried to do a burpee, I'll never forget how difficult it was. It's the, you know, after we have the baby, our abs start to separate and our core is much less stable and softer than it was before and burpees being a full body workout take a lot of core engagement. So I quickly learned um, that I was gonna have to do some modifications and just, like I said, it gave me a new outlook on how to approach different workouts and doing them in like a safe manner and then ultimately building them up to regular burpees. So from the transition, mm -hmm. um, was it, it was it hard to like step back into it? So you're coming off of it, I feel like that could be a hurdle for women, right? Like, well, I did worked out through my pregnancy and then I have the baby now, now it's hard to juggle the child care, you have this thing to work out. Um, so everybody's situation is different as far as timeline, yeah. but was there a thing for you or were you just internally motivated like, the gym is a thing for me, I'm getting back in? I, I knew the gym is a thing for me, I wanted to get back into it, um, but I had to do it slow and steady. You know, previous to the pregnancy, it would be a typical workout schedule for me, three days on, one day off. You know, the first month, two, maybe three months, like coming back after the baby, it, I couldn't do two days in a row. Two days in a row would just crush me. Wow. Um, and it wasn't even necessarily that I was doing classes. It was a lot of, you know, some of the quote unquote boring stuff, the stability work and um, working some of the small muscles and a lot of like breathing exercises and just stability work then doing like some more endurance, like longer workouts to get my heart rate up, to kind of bridge that together, and then just slowly building up my um, capacity to taking you know, classes or working out two days in a row. Mm -hmm. But it takes time and it's a, a mental battle sometimes because you, you wanna get back to doing what you're previously really were doing. Um, but I know for me too, my intention of, and my goals being in the gym now are different. I just, I don't have the time now to spend two hours, you know, five, six times a week. You know, I come in, you know, get my hour, maybe an hour and a half if I'm lucky, maybe three, four times a week, and makes me feel good. It gives me a clear mindset so that I can be a better mom and partner, you know, outside in the day-to-day -day life. Yeah, 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 that's huge. And that's one of the things I want to help, you know, other moms you know, be able to do and when they come in for diapers and dumbbells, you know, it's when you had come to me talking about, you know, potentially starting a postpartum class, it's the, I learned a lot about myself in fitness, having Mia and being able to talk with Allie and other moms like within the gym and learning about their experiences helped me so much that I really wanted to help share, you know, my knowledge with other people and make them feel more empowered to, you know, do what they want to do. Yes. Yes, that's huge. And I also feel that the piece where another subset of a community, so you can come in mm -hmm. and now you're around women, mm -hmm. they're all working for the same thing. And I think what we can do well in the gym, what we can get away with, I should say, is you can modify workouts in a yes. class when you're pregnant, mm -hmm. right? So we could do a lot of things that'll scale things down. Most of the women have been here before, so there's not getting pregnant and joining CrossFit. Mm -hmm. um, so we have an idea of easy to use dumbbells, but there's a disconnect when women are trying to come back mm -hmm. because the classes aren't really catered to, like what you said before, some of that slower movement. Mm -hmm. And, you know, specifically working with women on the pelvic floor and the core, so that's really the crux of the whole program, yes? Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's taking movements that you do in day to day, whether you're carrying groceries or you have, you're carrying the baby carrier or you're sitting on the floor with you know your child on your lap and you need to stand up. It takes you know the core stability, your leg, upper body strength. So we, I try to think about those movements you're doing every day and trying to replicate them in a gym setting with different weights or your body weight to help create more balance and stability so that it can help you better support you know your movement at home. Yes, yes, that's awesome. Um, so they come in, mm -hmm. they'll do a little, a little skill work. Yep. Um, 
usually the beginning is that's what that piece is set apart. If you could like dig into what is an actual workout like, oh my gosh, if I show up, will I fit in and intimidate it, mom? So they come in, what's like gonna happen in the beginning? So I know it's always intimidating to get in the door, but hopefully once once you're in and you meet the moms that we do have, myself, the staff here, it'll make you feel more at ease. Um, we do, you know, we review what we're going to be doing for the day. Um, class runs for an hour, and I, I tend to tailor the classes a little bit differently um, on a Monday and Wednesday, depending to make sure that the moms are getting like a full body workout throughout the week. But we tend to do some skill work, and whether it be like one sided, you know, to create the balance, making sure the shoulders and the hips are squared, focusing on that breath work um, to make sure we're not putting added pressure on the pelvic floor. Any new mom to take a step back come, that we come in, that comes into the class, I do sit down and talk with them one on one, go through some exercises, and we do check them for a diastasis to see where their abs are um, at this point in their postpartum journey so that I can provide them recommendations moving forward to make sure they're moving in a safe manner and not putting their body at harm. So we, um, some days we'll just do like a long Metcon and maybe like 20 minutes, like slow moving, focusing on the breath, work, different movements, and then other times we'll break it down for, okay, 15 minutes, we're gonna do some core work and cycle through three or four exercises, then we'll do maybe something for 10 minutes that's a quick burner to get your heart rate up. Um, but again, each class, is the, the base of it is gonna be that core stability, their breath work, as well as getting their heart rate up for some cardio at the end. Awesome, and I, that was a good evolution to the program that you and I kind of recently just thought out, mm -hmm. but that first time I'm a little intimidated, come in and take the class. Like yes, it's gonna be definitely. fine. We'll modify, there's workout, there's always modification. But after that, there was some issues, just like we had in the CrossFit class, where man, we really need some time to sit down with the, the mom and, and talk to her about the, the basics that you went through when you launched the program with all the other women. So you do get that session, that one-on-one -on -one time with you, which I think is huge. And then, um, yeah, everything they do in class um, is working as hard as, as they want to work. Mm -hmm. A lot of the things are, um, there's some rounds, of course, but maybe in a certain amount of time, they're doing as much work. So if somebody does double the amount, it doesn't matter if exactly. they're, they're working as hard as they can. Yes, everything is basically as hard or as easy as you want to go. Um, we can tailor it to you and you know, really make sure that you're enjoying the workout and getting what you need out of it in like a safe manner. Yes, so a, a hard hurdle for mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> some of my wife's friends who live in the area, live in the yeah. area but maybe somebody's listening, is um, it's not, we're not set up to be like one of the bigger gyms around where you come in and you just drop your kid off and you right. go on the treadmill and the elliptical. It's mm -hmm. way different here. But what excites me and what excites you and the whole reason in this evolution of this program is the knowledge that you bring to the table. It's all about the coaching. So the child care is, is great. We have people that really care. Um, they're in here hanging out, maybe a little Netflix. Yeah. Um, but it's not just like, hey, I can drop my kid off for two hours and do cardio. Because when the mom steps in there, um, they're really paying for they don't have to think about anything else. They just walk in and everything is done for them. So work out, um, cool down, and then, I'm sure you've experienced this, you help them out, um, whether it's via email, post-class, but anything else that they might be struggling with. Exactly, awesome. exactly. And it's, and it's our postpartum post bodies are different, you know, and that's okay. And our needs as a, as a woman, after we have a baby, um, needs to be treated slightly different than before, and I feel that coming to this class or talking with someone who has some knowledge or background more so versus than just like Googling, um, it can provide some added value and give you some additional insight to you know, speed up your recovery or give you more strength um, in different ways you might not have thought about. Because you know, not, not everyone likes to CrossFit, and I, I get that, and we don't, expect everyone that comes in, half of our moms now weren't CrossFitters to begin with and they have no desire to join a class, um, but they want to get a good workout in, they want to work different muscle groups and, and you know, do more than just jumping on the treadmill and dropping the kids off for a couple of hours. That's a great point that I want to hammer home. It, it is a great mix of like, hey, 
Um, I've been here for two years. I have I had a kid, and then I floated into divers and dumbbells for a few months, all the way to I've never done CrossFit. I had a kid, and I want to come in and do divers and dumbbells. Exactly. Yes. So really trying to separate ourselves from you know we're not on CrossFit.com doing all this research there. We're doing a little bit, a lot more research in the postpartum world mm -hmm. of fitness and where we need to deliver the best. Yes. Um, cool. So the other point um, that we're in the middle of, which is a good evolution of the program, is we are gonna start to provide some at-home stuff. For yes. Um, I, I was really excited when you brought that to my attention. Uh, right now it's just two days a week. We'd love to continue to push out the program. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're interested, if there's another day that works, like, let us know. But in the meantime, um, what does that at-home workout look like in your mind? So for me, like the at home, it's maybe 15, 20, 25 minutes max of movement, uh, more body weight, maybe some like light bands, doesn't require a lot of equipment, but moving in, do, moving in a way that's like safe and continues to enhance um, your recovery postpartumly. Again, it, the movements can benefit a woman six weeks, you know, postpartum as well as, you know, 16 months postpartum. So shorter workouts, getting your heart rate up, moving, very minimal equipment, but something else to get a little extra movement in more than just twice a week. Yeah, that, that third day is really kind of a sweet spot mm -hmm. for us in the gym setting, so we're trying to bring that into yes. to, to that class also. Um, great, I think we covered a ton. Anything else that you want to close up with, add on that I forgot? No, I think those are the main things, but hopefully you know, this answers more women's questions who maybe have heard about diapers and dumbbells but not sure if it's like a right fit for them. Um, we offer you know a free trial so if you want to come in and just watch a class, if you want to participate um, and see what's going on, I'll make sure that you have you are safe in your movements and depending on where you are postpartumly. But um, we really encourage and hope it gets you know a few more moms in so we can spread the word and you know build our community and the strength. Definitely. If you've made it this far, we appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, spread the word and um, just email us, Federal yes. Health Industry Athletics. I'll forward it over to Brittany and mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll get you in, get you started, answer all your questions and um, yeah, we appreciate it. Sounds good. Thanks, Brittany. Thank you.